Hi dudes and dudesses, the superhero intro because today we're going to build my favorite super smelter which is always the first thing I build in any world I start up. Well, almost the first thing then. Now a quick disclaimer, this uh, super smelter is not my own original design, it's hugely based on Mumbo Jumbo's design from 2017. I just modified it because it had some quirks and uh, things that I wanted to improve on. And let's look at it. Uh, this is the version that I usually build and the reason you should build it in your world is I put in 14 stones and there's 14 furnaces and look at this. Hang on, there it is. Instant fire in 14 furnaces. It's really efficient. You're probably familiar with how a furnace works. You have three hoppers. The top one is for what needs melted. The bottom one takes it out. And the one that goes into the back of the side is for fuel. And this was, I'm just going to build up a stack of these like this. Uh, it's exactly the same as the one that was alone. They're just connected together like this. And you can see I speed it up because that's really boring to see. And then you have a feed line that goes on top of the hoppers and you do that for the fuel as well like this very easy stuff but then it was that Mumbo showed his genius so I'm gonna slow down um, he actually built a rim around uh, the hoppers like this and he placed um, a comparator facing out from the final hopper in the feed line and then a torch, a repeater and then just redstone dust. It doesn't get much simpler than that. It's a beautiful genius move. And of course we did the same uh, on the other side. Exactly the same, just uh, one lower like this. And uh, Somewhere in the description I actually linked to his original video with his uh, video about this from 2017. So you can see him build it as well. I'm just doing it here for reference so you don't have to go somewhere else if you want to build it. And it's exactly the same as the other side. Just redstone dust down like this. And of course a fuel chest, input chest and Let's just put in some fuel, see how it works, and a bunch of stone, like so. And, oh yeah, an output chest, of course. And you can see, yeah, it's already going. The Mumbo Super Smelter. And the way it works is that the last comparator on the feed line measures when there's an item there, and then locks the hoppers beneath, and then opens it and one item, precisely one item, will drop down in each furnace. It's really, really genius. Beautiful. But it has issues. Some of the issues has to do with the way you use it, because if you just use one item and always smelt a lot of one item, that's no problem. But that's not really how I use my furnace. So if you, for instance, put in uh, different kinds of materials that I do. I usually just chuck in all kinds of stuff and uh, go away and then I come back, it's melted. This small setup has its issues, as you will see in a second. But while we wait, uh, let's visit my Minecraft psychologist that I have to go to each week. Hi, Notch. I have nothing good to say. It's, oh, Mumbo. Mumbo, is that you? Uh, What's happening? Uh, this must be a projection. I didn't mean no disrespect. I love your work. I think you're the grandfather of Redstone. Uh, I will I will make sure that everyone knows that it's your design. Oh, you, you, uh, you're fine with improving your design? Okay. I mean, it's genius. It's a work of genius, but it does need slight improvements, I think. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't know what to say. I'm actually kind of starstruck. I will, I will mumbo in training. It's um, weird. 
so weird, always weird being here. So we're back and as you can see the stuff is not there even though the furnaces are empty all the stuff we chucked in hasn't been smelted. Uh, nothing there but it's not in the output chest and the problem is that it gets locked it gets locked in these top hoppers it's a known problem probably somebody else has fixed it before me that's kind of always the problem with simplicity luckily the fix is very easy all you have to do is move everything one block up so we start by moving the feed line and then moving one more row of hoppers pointing down while we do this let's talk about what we're going to call this thing the fabulous furnace maybe it doesn't really give mumbo the credit he deserves so um the mumfab furnace that's 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 kind of nice um what else could we do um maybe the fambo furnace um yeah no it doesn't sound right how about the mum the fab smelter the mum fab the mum the fab smelter i don't know maybe i'll put a poll in the video you can help me just need that one and uh, of course this is just one side uh, and you can see it's just moved up once and then uh, it would be a good idea to do it on the other side as well although if you only use one kind of fuel you can not do it but i would do it so i put in new chests here and i chuck in new stuff like this and i will blend it up like i did before just to show you that now there's no problem it will all be smelted uh, let, oh yeah that's the old stuff let's get rid of that and put in a chest like this and just wait a while and now we should see other kind of items coming in soon any moment soon oh it's still going down but there you have it so no problem now everything's going through the furnace everything's getting smelted lovely but seven furnaces is that really super or does it need to be bigger of course it does i've extended it as long as the redstone will go that's uh, 15 blocks as you see if i place down one more uh, the redstone is dead so this is how long you can make it uh, in one row and uh, oh i just need to get rid of these that's the old input chest like so and this setup unfortunately has its hiccups as well if i try to put in something to smell like this and oh yeah probably some new fuel as well and we go to the front we can see yeah there's always one or two furnaces that doesn't work but they do take in fuel and they do take in things to smell but they don't work and that's kind of a problem Billy Green had the same problem when he built it in Hermitcraft Season 7. Luckily, the uh, fix is easy. You take out the middle of the furnaces, so there's seven on each side, and you place a block, or you don't even have to, but that looks nice, and then you take out this hopper, and so it looks like this, and this hopper as well. And that's it. And of course you have to do it on the other side as well, so the fuel will get distributed ease evenly, like so. Take out this, and I like to place a block here. So basically that's the fix. Everything now should get distributed uh, evenly uh, in the furnaces. This is just after burning. I'm just checking that there's fuel. Uh, and let's try and see what we started with let's take 14 of an item and put it in here in the input chest and let's see what happens three two one yes and there's liftoff or something all right guys thank you for watching i hope you liked it i hope you can use it in your world remember to subscribe it supports the channel and i'm working on a very very cool 500 sub special for you it's coming very soon and thank you to all those who sub see you in the next one bye <laughs>